Well, my responsibilities are to obviously to make the weaponry, design some of them. Um, we have a team that will design uh, basically a look from what the producers want or what the writers want, um, give it a bit of a visualization of what their requirements would be. Between costume armory, costume, stunts, choreography wise, fight choreograph, it has to be a, a fine balance all around because at the end of the day, they have to make it look believable as well. They can't be just pretty and not be able to move. They have to have a physical manner because obviously the actors have to use them as well. Depending on what boy choreographer wants and what, what, what the action's gonna be with the swords, they can't be too fragile. And the steel, and again, the steel is only purely for aesthetics, purely for close up on camera. Just for safety, it's not much, so much for, for wielding or for fighting with. And then obviously then I'll replicate that in aluminium, also in rubber and sometimes in carbon, depending on what the action is. So we've always got a rubber one that we can in interface with the real one. Most of the swords, if not all of them, are scaled to the people and sort of scaled to their personality. I mean, the mountain has a good character. It's a big, it's a big sword for the big guy. I won't say grotesque or ugly, but it was just going to be a big man, you know, strong, powerful. So then it had to be a big sword because I mean, a seven foot, he's not gonna, he's not gonna wield a normal sword. This thing is standing at 64 inches, which is nearly five and a half feet. There's a bit of weight to it, probably about around 12 to 16 pounds. Yeah, I'm, I, I do be very happy about it. I'm very, I'm very, very pleased to see a lot of creations and a lot of our own ideas going out there, and you know, you eventually see it out there on on on, on TV.